In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of creating and deploying an Azure function in Visual Studio. To begin, open Visual Studio and click on Create a new project. In the search box, type Azure function and select the Azure function project template from the search results. This will open the Configure your project window. Provide a name for your Azure function and choose the location where you want to save your project. Click Next to proceed. On the additional information page, change the authorization level to anonymous. Then click create to create the Azure function project. Now that we have our Azure function project, let's make some modifications. For example, let's remove the log features, remove the log parameter and the log method. Additionally, let's shorten the messages. The first message will be displayed when no query string with a name is provided. And the second message will be displayed when a name is provided in the query string. To test your function locally, press F5 or click on the run icon in Visual Studio. This will provide you with the URL for your function. Copy and paste the URL into your browser. If you haven't passed the name in the query string, you will see a message asking you to provide a name. After passing the name in the query string, you will see a greeting message like Hello Peter Parker. By default, Azure assigns the name function1 to your newly created Azure function. However, this name may not be descriptive enough, especially if you have multiple functions in your application. Let's rename the function to something more meaningful. First, navigate to the file explorer in Visual Studio and right-click on the function1.cs file. Choose the rename option and enter your desired name, such as demo function. This name change will automatically change the class name too. If not, manually change the class name. Finally, update the function name attribute in the function's code file. This attribute is typically located within the code file and you can simply update the value to the new function name. To confirm the name change, run the application and check the URL to see that the name has been updated to demo function. To publish to Azure, navigate to the Solution Explorer in Visual Studio. Right click on the project name and select Publish from the menu. This will open the publish window where you can choose your target platform. Select Azure as your target and click Next. Choose Azure Function App Windows as a specific target and click Next. The Publish window will open. To create a new Azure Function App, click on the plus symbol. This will open the Create New Function App. Provide the required details and click Create. Alternatively, if you want to use an existing Azure Function App, select it from the Azure Apps list and click Finish. Visual Studio will display the Ready to Publish window. Click the Publish button to initiate the publish process. Your Azure function will be published and Visual Studio will provide you with the link to access the site. To access the function, simply append slash API slash function name to the URL. You can also provide a query string for a specific result. Don't forget to check the Azure portal where you can find the function you have just published. I hope this video has been helpful. For more information, click the blog in the description.